Hey, good morning, guys. Um, just another quick video. Uh, it's really important now more than ever that we listen to our dreams, and many of us are being contacted more and more at this point in time with this ascension process through our dream state. Um, I'm finding it a little bit harder. Um, I don't know, probably because I'm distracted building my house yet but finding time to actually sit and meditate. I was in my sauna this morning and um, usually that the heat waves and the infrared waves usually get me in an altered state right away. But um, the first thing that came to mind was my dream last night. And it was very interesting. And um, because we are, are being contacted through our dream state, um, it's almost like some of us are um, being queried, vetted, maybe. Um, but last night was very interesting, and I'm wondering if some of you, if this will trigger something that some of you and, and some of you are having the same issue, uh, same type of dream. Um, I, I think I mentioned before, you know, a lot of my dreams that I have really do happen. They come true, um, to name one was when I was doing all these videos with my buddy, Zach Alou, we kept talking to each other, you know, one of these days we're gonna connect even though we lived only three hours apart. And, um, and one night I dreamt that um, him and his wife and his dog had just come and showed up on my doorstep. And it was funny because the dog, Luke, come right through the window next to the door and he was the first one in the house. And, um, and it was really funny because it was such a surprise. And so the next morning, I couldn't wait to tell him about this dream. And he was just, he just got very quiet. And then he says, that is amazing. He says, we just booked a hotel room in your town because we're going to be up in that area and we want to come and visit you and John. And it was really funny because when I went to the hotel to uh, get them to Try to help them find our place. Luke was the first one that greeted me. He ran up to me and he jumped on my, he's a big dog, he jumped on my shoulders. And it was like he knew exactly what had happened. Um, so, anyways, back to my dream last night it was really interesting and I had to think about it for a while. But it was so vivid, it was so clear. I mean, that's the thing, you know, our dreams are really going to become more vivid and more clear. It's just like we're, you know, of course we're really there, you know. Um, but my husband and I are building a house and we have the opportunity to build a second home on our property, you know, like a vacation home or a mother-in-law's apartment or whatever. And in this dream, uh, we had finished our house and the second house was done, but we were so busy I didn't, we didn't have any, I hadn't had, I hadn't had any time to go uh, see this house. And actually this house is supposed to be for me, for me to do my healing work and everything. And, and so one day I found time and I, the house was a little bit through the woods. We have a lot of trees in our property. So I had to walk through the woods and it wasn't anywhere near our main house. And I got to the house and it was full of young people, you know, like in their twenties you know, 20s to 30 young people. And I was just shocked. There, there must have been 30 to 50 people in this house. And of course, in the dream, the house was a lot bigger, you know, than what it normally was. And I, I come in this house and I, at first I was a little upset. And, you know, we have a lot of people in our area that um, have been known to squat. You know, they come and, and they live bring their old um, campers and trailers and they'll put it deep in the woods on land that they do not own. And I'm sure the same is happening with vacant properties. Not that there, that there are that many vacant properties in our area, but, and so I, I'm walking through this house and, I, and I'm just, I'm having this internal banter with myself. It's like, gosh, what do I do? I'm not very happy with all these young people in my house. You know, they're, they're not going to uh, be considerate because it's a brand new house and, and everything in it is, I picked out all these really cool old antique -y stuff. And so it had that shabby chic feel to it. Um, 
And so I'm going through this and these, and I'm looking and I'm watching all these people and I can feel my heart, you know, and you know, I do a lot of heart math stuff, heart, a lot of heart work and I can feel my heart talking to me. And so I'm doing this internal discussion with my heart and it was like, Oh no, 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 no. I know it's, and it's funny how my dreams all turn into the event, you know, the Ascension event process. And it's like, this is another test about me doing my internal work and me doing my own, own Ascension work and me living, you know, walking the talk, so to speak, and so I'm, I'm, I'm communicating with my heart. And so it's like, no, 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 no. These kids obviously need help. And that's why they're here. They came here. They found my special house because they needed my help. And I am going to let them stay here. I'm not going to worry that it's a brand new house. And I'm not going to worry that they might destroy it. And it's just, I'm done with that stuff. That's all ego crap. I'm done with that stuff. They need my help. They can stay. But then I was like, you know, my husband, if he comes here and sees all these young people in this house, and it was funny because there were, they had cats and they had dogs. And, you know, I looked on my brand new carpet and I could see cat litter and cat poop where the cats had not gone in the in the box, you know, it's just all this stuff, all these triggers that would normally make me very upset. And I was just like, it's just carpet, you know, I'm not gonna worry about it. There's more important things. And so I'm gonna help all these kids out. And um, so I was like, okay, you guys, you can stay. Did you see that orb that just came down? <laughs> I get this a lot. So anyways, it's, I tell these kids, well, you can stay. But I'm not sure what my husband's going to say. That's going to be the test because I don't know, you know, we're all supposed to worry about our own path and our own inner work. And, you know, I get a little tough with him at times because I don't think he's doing his own work. And so all of a sudden here he comes. And he's looking and these kids are talking to him and he's just having a really good time. And he's, he, he, he likes young kids and, and so he was just having a really good time talking to these kids and then he came up to me and you know I was like you know I gave him permission to stay and he's like oh yeah that's cool he says yeah, they can stay obviously they must need help and he says you know I think he's saying the same thing that I was thinking I think that you know this is like a time of us being tested and how we're going to react at old triggers and situations that might have upset us in the past. And he says, I think this is a perfect opportunity to move past that. And it's like, I mean, it's like he had more wisdom than I did. And I'm usually all over him about it. And so I was just like, this is just amazing. And so the kids, you know, we let the kids stay. And then the next thing you know, I am having this big round table discussion with them. Um, and you know, these kids to me, they looked like a lot of the kids, the young adults in my area, like the Creststone area. Um, the, the, a lot of people call them hippies and they're, they're really not hippies. Um, that age is over with. Um, but the, the dreadlocks and then, you know, the kind of clothing that they wore and and so um, we were sitting around having this round table discussion and I was telling them about, you know, this ascension process and how it is so important to now that we really communicate and connect, connect with Gaia Sophia. And, and I was really surprised that they had not remembered this very integral part of this ascension process. And they were like, Oh my gosh, we, we had totally forgot about that. And so, you know, giving them shelter and letting the, them come into my home and being able to talk to them about, you know, the connection now with Gaia Sophia and how, you know, she is our great mother. And, you know, we forget that everything, everything that we have, this, this computer, jewelry, my glasses, my glass, my makeup, my clothing, that the desk behind me, this house around me, our food, everything that we have 
is given to us by the Great Mother. And I was reminding them of that very simple fact that we just constantly lose sight of. And so they were just like, yes, 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 yes. I totally remember now. And so, you know, it was, it's really interesting how our dreams now are turning more into these, the, the ascension process, like little tests, you know, how are, you know, we're, we're given triggers and, and how are we, we're watched and how are we going to react to these triggers? And so was it Corey Good was talking one day about his aunt, the Anshar and how, you know, they, it's kind of like they are communicating more and more now with, you know, us earthly beings, even though they're in the inner earth, inner earth and that, you know, they're waiting for a lot of us, you know, it's like we have to go through this test and we have to get rid of our ego. And before that, they can feel like they could connect with us. It's like, we have to do our work first. You know, it does, does us no good to come and connect with us before we've done our work because, you know, we're, so many of us are still in that, we're going to be saved mode and this is all about us. This is all about us. And we're being watched and we're being guided. And another orb, did you see that guys? we're being guided so um really now is the time pay attention to your dreams and even if they seem strange to you you know do what i did is you know go into your my sound is right here <laughs> there it is um you know go into what helps you get into a, a meditative state and then you know your dreams will um they will blossom the meanings will come out you will start remembering parts of the dreams that you had forgotten after you had woken up and so um i just wanted to remind you of that really quickly today before i get get to work um, um getting close to moving into my house up on the mountains and i got a, a lot of things planned and maybe maybe some workshops maybe some retreats with a few people at a time who can come and do heart math stuff and do heart math with the, my medicine horses and a, a lot of different a lot of different things um maybe writing some doing a lot of writing and you know there's just a whole lot of stuff that's um going to transpire and we're into that time where we're going to be doing more and more of this work so any got anyways guys i got to get to work uh, we got a little snow this morning. What is it? October 10th? I think it's October 10th. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, we got lots to do. And um, when I have some more free time, I'll connect with you and let you know, you know, what my next dreams are. So pay attention to your dreams, guys. They're very important. All right. Talk to you soon.